Hello everybody, this is Abraham at Northshore Computer Services and what we have here is a MacBook and it is A1502, this little MacBook. And the problem is somebody spilled something on the keyboard. Keyboard needs to be replaced. However, taking it apart, we discovered that the battery is glued and it's in the way of taking the keyboard out. There is no way to take this keyboard without taking the battery out. Now the battery is okay, so wasting the battery is not, you know, really a smart idea. Whoever designed this laptop wasn't very smart to begin with. So I was thinking, what to do here? You know, how do we take it apart without damaging uh, the battery? Uh, on the outer cells, you can use a little bit of heat uh, because they're glued directly to the uh, case itself. However, these two cells are not glued to the metal. They're sitting on a metal plate that is sitting over the top of the trackpad. And if you, glued, if you heat this up, most likely it'll get damaged. So we have no choice but either waste the battery um, you know, by damaging, damaging by removing it, or come up with something else. So I was thinking and thinking and thinking and uh, researching online, and what I found was nothing. You can buy some kits that allow you to uh, um, damage the glue, and then you can uh, take it apart. So I was thinking, hey, there is a way to do this without having to buy any special kits. What I come up with is 91% alcohol and a syringe to put it in the small spaces. Now, alcohol does not damage electronics, so if you put too much, no big deal. What I'm doing here is just putting alcohol. The capillary effect will seep all that alcohol into between the batteries and it'll start damaging the glue or destroying however you want to talk about it, think about it, doesn't matter. We got alcohol in there. These two have been sitting for about 10 minutes and the outer one, I already disconnected. It was fairly easy. <clears throat> the inner one, it's, oh, we need a credit card. This is my old gift cards that I had. Don't use them anymore. Just slide it in, slice that glue. And you don't need a lot of pressure to do it. Don't need any heat. And a nice smell of alcohol in the morning. <laughs> All right. Uh, I wish I had a little longer credit card because the, there are two glue strips here and they are sitting far in. They are damaged already. They are not holding like they would normally, but you still need to kind of, you know, persuade it. And it's just not very comfortable for me to sit here and record and do this at the same time. That's all. It's not, I'm not putting much pressure in there. There, see? Easy peasy. The battery is not damaged. The glue is completely destroyed. Um, let me see if I could show you. See all that white stuff in there? That's alcohol eating the glue. This is the best solution I've ever found. I'm sure this will work for phones, will work for, well, for any, anything that's glued together. They, like I said, the key is a 91% alcohol. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, so let's see. I haven't had these uh, sitting long enough, but even then you can see that the glue is already destroyed. I've been, what? I didn't have any glue before I started filming, so wherever it began two minutes ago. No. You want to let it sit for maybe five, five minutes. After five minutes, the alcohol starts evaporating, so you don't want to have it sit longer than that. And once it evaporates, it still leaves the glue uh, destroyed, but you want to work it while the alcohol is um, liquid still let's see everything is still liquid in there and nice thing you could just leave it back the alcohol will damage the glue completely and irreversibly Oops. <clears throat> and the batteries will not stick back now these are a little more fun there's just no way to get to them this is a stupid design. There. But, you know, alcohol is doing its job. I'm just so, so ecstatic. This is so easy. I have had to do this once before. And thankfully, well, before um, the battery was bad, not the keyboard. So we um, didn't really care for the battery. But this middle ones, middle batteries, that was hell on wheels. Hell on wheels. I love that expression. And uh, it just, there was no way to get those warmed up. And I haven't thought about some kind of chemical to destroy the glue. And, uh, well, thankfully, I, I I got the idea off of YouTube. The only thing is they were selling their own product. And uh, I thought there's got to be a way, if it's possible to destroy the glue, there's got to be a way that you can use your common household product to do it. All right, let's see if this side will be better. Yep, one, two. Okay. Dum da da dum. Dum da da dum. The battery is fine. This is just glue strips on there. Everything is ready to be wiped. Alcohol has destroyed everything. I mean everything. This is perfect. There, look at this. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't even grab it. It's slippery. Oh, God. I love it. It's just such a joy. I hate to have this sticky stuff on my hands, but I'll be using I'll be using wipes and whatnot to get rid of all this gunk. But hey, this is perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. Give me likes if you like it. This is a way to save money. You save the battery. You don't have to buy anything special. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Thumbs ups for alcohol. Um, now there is a problem. Most people would not be able to get syringes with needles. Uh, I mean, you can buy them online, I guess. Uh, you don't really have to use a syringe. If... Well, here's what I said. Alcohol will not damage your uh, electronics, so you could just spill it out, you know, just if all else fails, you can't find any kind of dropper, any kind of anything, you could just carefully um, pour some alcohol in it, the capillary will feed it in, 
let it sit for five minutes and it's done done get a credit card get it in there and that's it that's it the problem solved thank you for watching i'm ecstatic